Welcome to our video tutorial on how to use the interactive forms on this website. In this video, we will discuss some of the features of the A2J Author Document Assembly software, which is designed to help self-represented litigants easily complete court documents that are ready to be filed with the court system. When navigating our statewide website, you will find our self-help forms available for your use. When you click on the subject areas that correspond with your legal need, for example, divorce or child support, you will be directed to a page that instructs you as to what information you will need to complete the online form. When you are ready to begin, click on the appropriate link. After you click on the link, you will be sent to your start page on our national server. This server is safe and secure. On this page, you can choose to fill out your legal forms immediately by clicking the Get Started or the Go buttons. Or you can sign up to save your work just in case you need to access the forms at a future date. The next page before you begin filling out your legal forms is our Terms of Use page. To use our forms, you must acknowledge that our site provides legal information and does not give legal advice. You will need to talk to a lawyer if you need legal advice. Second, that this site is not for commercial use. And finally, this site is for low-income people. If you can afford an attorney, you should hire one rather than use this site. After you agree to the terms of use, you will now begin working on your legal forms. Take a minute to examine this page. The woman on the road will be your guide to completing these forms. She will ask simple and direct questions to get all the information you will need to produce completed legal forms for your case. At the top of the screen, you will see the My Progress bar. If you click on the bar, you will be able to see the question that you are on as well as the questions that you have answered. If you need to return to a previous screen for any reason, you can either use the My Progress bar or you can click on the Back button, which is located to the left of the Progress bar. If you click on the Continue button, you will move on to the next screen. However, if you click Continue on a screen and it does not allow you to do so, that is most likely because you have not included all of the information necessary to move on to the next page. In this instance, check to make sure you have filled out all of the required fields. If you do not have the information it is asking you for, save your work and return to the program when you have the missing information. You will notice that on some pages, a Learn More or Help bubble will appear. If you find a term or question confusing, click on the Help bubble and the guide will offer additional information. If for some reason you answer a question that disqualifies you from use of the program, it is only because the program is not right for your needs, not that you don't have a valid legal claim, if this occurs, call your local legal aid office or attorney referral program. If you do qualify for the program, continue answering questions and watch as your icon gets closer to the courthouse. When you have finished the interview and answered all the necessary questions, you will reach a screen that resembles this one. You will now click on the Submit button to download your legal forms. At this point, again you will be given the option of saving your work in case you want to return to it at a future date. You may also go back to the form immediately if you just realized you answered a question incorrectly. However, if you are happy with the answers you have given, you can just click on the Get Document button where you will be allowed to review, print, and or email your document to yourself or someone else. Here we have an example of the first page of a legal form produced by the A2J Author software program that is being used by legal aid organizations all over the country. Remember, at this point, you are responsible for handling your own case. You will need to file these forms and represent yourself in court. Our hopes are that these forms will make that job easier for you so that you can access the court system in a meaningful way. We hope you found this instructional video useful. If you have any further questions, Please seek more information on your state's legal services website or contact your local legal aid office.